Hello, welcome to Tech Talk. I'm Jim Reed. In the previous episodes, we've discussed how an airplane can fly, a bit about the engine, the propeller, and the cockpit. In this episode, we're going to talk about flight controls. An aircraft can rotate around three axes. Motion around the lateral axis we call pitch, motion around the longitudinal axis we call roll, and motion around the vertical axis we call yaw. These motions are controlled by several movable parts of the aircraft we call control surfaces. The elevator is hinged to the horizontal stabilizer, the ailerons are hinged to the wing, and the rudder is hinged to the vertical stabilizer. So how do these control surfaces change the direction of the aircraft? Perhaps one of the simplest ways to understand it is to realize that air has mass and weighs about three pounds per cubic yard. So if you deflect a control surface into the passing air, there's a force created on that control surface and the aircraft reacts equal and opposite to this force. It's similar to putting your hand out the window of a car going down the highway and feeling the air pressure on your hand. The ailerons and elevator are controlled by the stick and the rudder is controlled by the rudder pedals. It's almost as simple as steering a car and nearly the same for every airplane on the planet. When I pull the stick aft, the elevator trailing edge moves up, forcing the tail of the aircraft down and pitching the aircraft up. And when I push on the stick, the opposite happens, making the aircraft pitch down. When I move the control stick left or right, the aileron trailing edges move in opposite directions, but their combined force on the wings of the aircraft work in the same direction to roll the aircraft left or right. The rudder is moved by the rudder pedals and controls the aircraft in yaw. If I push on the left pedal, the rudder trailing edge moves left and shoves the tail of the aircraft to the right. And of course, if I push on the other pedal, the opposite happens. Many conventional gear aircraft have the rudder connected to the tailwheel to help with steering on the ground. But in the case of the master class aircraft, they just use the rudder and differential braking on the front wheels. To fly a coordinated turn, you must use all three of these control surfaces together. The pilot who flies smooth without secondary corrections will set a good track time. <laughs>